Oh, good morning. Mic issues. with that right now. My camera looks awful and that's okay. Because according to my wife, I look awful as well. All right, so Apple doesn't really have a whole lot of news this morning. I believe there was like three. Six, six point seven inch iPhone said to be thinner. Yeah, okay, let's make it thinner. I can tell you from somebody that works on it, please don't make it thinner. Can't work on it now without possibly breaking a ribbon or losing one of them tiny ass little screws that didn't make it to the magnetic magnet pad. Don't make it smaller. Uh, then you have just foolish stuff, but there's nothing. Apple selling refurbished iPhone XSs and XS Max. I don't think that's a big deal. Everybody complains about their uh, refurbished stuff. It, it shouldn't matter. The refurbished stuff from Apple is pretty <laughs> pretty good. I mean, it goes into one end of the building and it gets completely dismantled. The pieces that are broken get pulled and get put into another bin, like a almost like a, a parts bin. You know, a speaker goes in here, haptic engine goes in here, chipset goes in there, motherboard goes in there, and they get moved down the line. They get tested by their respective uh, departments, put in other bins, and then at the other end of the shop, they put them all back together. So it's exactly the same way that you would have that done at a manufacturing plant, except this time it's done in-house. So the whole idea of the refurbished things, I don't really buy anymore. Unless like Samsung's still doing it, maybe, or LG or somebody. But I can tell you that Apple, if you buy a refurbished phone from Apple, you're not getting a crap phone. You're getting a brand new phone, in my opinion. In my opinion, it's a brand new phone. I've had this argument with people. You know, people that come in for just about any phone, let's say a Samsung phone, they're going to do what they call a rapid exchange where your screen broke and you need to replace your screen. Okay, great, super. Well, all you're going to do is take your phone. <laughs> you're going to take your phone, you're going to uh, bring it over to the store and they're going to put it into their little computer system, clickety-click-clack. And next thing you know, you're going to have a phone sent to your house. A lot of those companies, I think, are probably um, probably just replacing the piece that's broken and sending them back out. That's the wrong way to get a refurbished because you're not checking the phone. You're dependent upon some idiot making minimum wage uh, that may or may not be checking everything on the phone. Take it, take it however you want it. I think Apple doesn't make a refurbish. I think they're just brand new phones. Uh, let's see, deals with gold this week. Battlefront 2 Celebration Edition should own it. If you're a Star Wars fan, you should own that game on any platform. It's fixed, it's better, it's got so much in it, it's not even funny. It's well worth it. Forza Motorsport 7. How about you uh, make Forza Motorsport 8? Because that would be great, because we're all waiting. But 7's still good, if you can get it to work. Need for Speed Heat, again, good choice. Battlefront 2, we already said. I'm sure some of these games, I have a friend of mine that loves Farming Simulator. Isn't that, isn't that right, honey? Just, I don't get it. She stays on that damn game all the time. Sims and Farming Simulator. She, she missed her calling. She should own a farm. I mean, really, just a farm with a husband that, that makes her squirt out, like, you know, eight kids every decade. <laughs> Douchebag. <laughs> yes, I am. Uh, too bad. One of the mornings, you when we get everything squared away, 
you're going to be on the other side of this room because you're missing out on some great sound effects. <laughs> uh, so again, Forza Motorsport Deluxe and Ultimate are respectively 25 and 20 percent off. If if you like racing games, that's a good choice. The other choice for racing games, in my opinion, right now, is Need for Speed Heat. Uh, good for the arcadey Forza Motorsport is more for the simulation. True car lovers, I would I would dare say, true car lovers on the uh, motorsport. WWE 2K20 Deluxe Edition and Regular Edition are 67% off. Yeah, I don't know. That thing's got... <laughs> it's got some issues. I heard it's broken completely. I, I love those games. I think they're great games. I just wait for them to get down to either a cheap price or get on another platform or uh, switch over to like Game Pass Ultimate or PlayStation Now because it's, why bo bother buying it? I have 2019 for free. I have 2018 for free. I have 2016 for free with Stone Cold. So I'm not, and, and they're not making huge differences in the games. So I'm not worried about getting the latest and greatest. I'll get it when I get it. But they are missing, I think they're missing a, a big value. I think that if they release the game, uh, you know, have a 2K series, just wrestling or WWE 2K, period. And then every year, update the roster. Give us a pack for like 30 or $40 that updates the rosters, maybe put some new uh, moves in there. You can do little ones here and there, but save the big one for once a year. I think that would make everybody happy and you'll make a shit ton of money. I'd rather go buy, I mean, I'll if I have to go to the store and buy a physical copy for $60, probably not. Am I going to sit at home and click on the digital button? More likely than getting a physical copy. It's just easier. But if I do that, I would like some sort of discount or some sort of bonus for buying the digital content. And again, when I do that, I've already bought it. Just for forty dollars, I'll that morning I'll wake up and be like, "Bang, forty bucks! Here's here's forty dollars. Let me go uh, get the latest roster and update." And you could do that for pretty much all the games at this point. I think every five years or so, maybe create a new hard, you know, gold mastered game for imp overall improvements in game engine but i think i think a game can last two or three years with just the game engine it currently has and be perfectly fine with regular updates especially if the game's popular if your people love it then they're going to buy it it's just what's going to happen let's see what else overwatch's roll queue system needs a change i've recently got into overwatch I, I missed out on it earlier because of, again all the all the stigma that's that's connected to it. I don't know. I, I think it's okay. I, I like it. I have to be honest. As as weird as it is and sexist or whatever you want to call it, I could see all those arguments in it. But at the same time, for me, that I don't. Maybe I have half an hour, forty five minutes until the kids come home or. Uh, the wife needs me for something. I'm going to play that because I can put it down quickly, pick it up quickly. It's it's a jump-in game. Just jump in, play a few rounds, and leave. Where Battlefront 2 single-player or even uh, multiplayer, uh, Destiny 2, forget about it. All those games require you have to sit down and spend you know an hour minimum to actually play the game, get into the game, and get any progress going. Which Destiny 2, I don't even know if we'll see an article about it. I'm done with Destiny 2. I'll tell you why in a second. But Overwatch's roll queue system, I don't think is that bad. It does kind of suck because you have to pick one. And if you want to be a support, say, you might have to wait more than 10 minutes. Well, occupy your time with something else. I understand if you're on a console, but this is the way. <laughs> you know, to quote the Mandalorians, this is the way. It's always been this way with gaming since the early days, whether you like it or not. There's been a queue system. <laughs> you get in and you wait. It happened with Half-Life and Doom back in the day in their servers, through Gears of War, through everything else. It's always been there. So, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's worthwhile. Maybe it's not. But I, I don't think it's that bad. I enjoy playing it. I, I think it's fun. It's stupid fun. If you get over the fact of, oh my god, I'm picking a girl... Or if you're a girl, I don't want a guy, I want a strong female. Well, you got plenty of strong females in there. That's not a problem. Um, 
if you want to play as a as a guy and that's what you have to play as, you have your choices as well. I just think that as gamers, you should look beyond that and look at the character. What does the character offer? Because the characters are phenomenal. I, I think they're just well balanced and really well done. Destiny 2, on the other hand, you might as well make a career move because even with the latest uh, download that they had, <laughs> the, what you got as an exotic weapon at the end of this hellacious puzzle was just insignificant. It was like um, there was a rocket that was around for a while. And I remember working with like two other people online and grinding my ass off for two days and getting that uh that gun and literally it, that was probably on a wednesday or a thursday if i remember correctly and i was so excited i played with it all weekend and just destroyed people that monday or tuesday when zur came out the following time zur came out that was that was one of the weapons that zur had so what's the point in me finishing that quest same thing with this latest quest everybody's busting their balls for all the what's going on honey oh you're going over to your computer you're going to turn on the webcam and, and... No, you're not, are you? No, no. You're just going to go over to your computer, look at porn. <laughs> well, look, honey, if you want to look at porn, just invite me over. Oh, my God. One bite of a Nature Valley crispy, creamy wafer bar can transport you to a world. So, uh, yeah, there's that. I, I don't know, Destiny 2 was just a big letdown for that puzzle. That puzzle generated an exotic that's not even... Granola, not even worthwhile should have been more and destiny knew that you've been doing this for a while now i think you i think you know what you're doing bungie you. and what you did was wrong Crispy and creamy wafer bars. which is why that game's never going to truly take off there's just too much work you jump in there even if you jump in there after like two months of being away playing other games which you should do you jump back into that and you're lost you know you gotta you gotta try to do this and try to do that and get this done and get that done I just think it's way overkill at this point. Yeah, you know what, Xbox? Tool lets players check out a decade of their Xbox achievements. I'm calling bullshit. I don't want to hear about that. Because me and Fremo sat there, and we've been there since launch. It was 2001, 2003, something like that. The day Xbox Live launched, we were both there. Bang. Same exact. We have the same exact IDs we had since day one. We've never let them lapse. We've always paid the monthly. Xbox got plenty of money for me. And then for your anniversary, what do I get for it? I get an icon. That's G-E-T-B-E-B. An icon. For my avatar. And then you took away my uh, Gears of War gun. So, thanks for that, douchebags. Douchebag! <sighs> Coffee is good today. Star Wars, who is Darth Revan? Okay, so you're a casual Star Wars fan if you don't know who Darth Revan is. If you consider yourself a very deep Star Wars fan, like, well, I'm a Star Wars fan, then you should already know who Darth Revan is, and there should not be an article about it. Well, I guess there should be an article about it, but not in this this way. Uh, <laughs> Darth Revan was probably the most powerful, in, I think, outside of the ancient Sith. Oh, what are we going to now? News. That should be exciting. You know, I don't know where I stand with the Starlink satellite stuff so those that don't know starlink satellite is going to be it's a spacex sending up satellites orbit the earth 
better connectivity for your mobile devices as well as speed boosts and things like that. There's a lot of benefits. The unfortunate thing is that there's going to need to be hundreds of satellites orbiting the Earth. This makes it really, really hard for um, astronomers to see things now. I know a lot of people, especially that you're going to go to work with that are going to be all kind of douchebaggy about, about it, are going to... Um, they're basically going to be like, oh, who cares, man? Well, a couple of bunch of nerds can't climb on a mountain and look at the stars. It's bigger than that. We're talking real telescopes. Telescopes that are seeing other other galaxies and things like that. This is important for our discovery. I mean, look at the 17-year-old that we announced on BGFG that just, that just found a planet. I mean, it's a freaking planet, man. And we're finding a lot of planets that can support life. So it's a big deal. Not to mention the fact that just getting to outer space. Uh, we had a rocket, I, don't know, I think it was SpaceX. We, we talked about it on either one of the morning shows or BGFG itself. That the rocket flew up and was going to um, la uh, land. It was going to connect with the uh, space station and then come back down and land, which was massive. I mean, that would have been like, okay, let's, let's start getting boarding passes and going for a visit. That would usher in a lot of different things, but because of the satellites and the debris and the shit up there in our orbit, when they were flying up, they could they missed the window, so they flew around for a few more minutes, then had and then got another window to head back to Earth. So there's a lot of shit out there, and I think this is adding to it. I think what we should be doing, uh, if you want the Starlink satellites to be to be put up there, then beforehand, I think uh, the UN as a whole and countries need to band together and get some sort of debris cleaning up there. I know there's like two or three companies uh, that are trying to trying to start something like that. But again, a giant catch-all, a giant net, just get some of the debris out of there. That, that's basically what you got to do, get the debris out. You know, bring it back to Earth and sell it. Space debris. I'll buy it. <laughs> this is not radioactive. I'll hang it up on my wall. Uh, what else have we got? <laughs> Apple lawsuit tests if an employee can plan a rival startup while on payroll. If you have... I don't know. If you think you could do it better, what do you do? Quit and then do it? Of course you're going to be thinking about it while you're there. This is, this is bullshit. And I love Apple, but this is Apple trying to prevent you from thinking anything. You want to talk about think different? That dude thought... Well, maybe not different, but he thought something... Apple wants to control your thoughts. That's basically what that tells me. This is bullshit. <clears throat> bullshit. Weinstein must tread carefully in a rape trial defense. No, he doesn't. It's guilty. It's just that simple. Coronavirus is scary. It's awful. What in the hell? Meghan and Harry start their new lives in Canada like it should even matter to us. He's still essentially in line for the throne. He just doesn't want to be part of the bullshit anymore. Good on you. Go do your thing. But this headline... <laughs> Prince Harry and Meghan. Black British women on Meghan. Markle. This is a thing? This matters? I don't think this matters. At all. I think it's garbage. <clears throat> Bullshit! <laughs> War to Syria. Uh... No, oh, great. Now we got Taiwan coronavirus, which means somebody traveled there. That's awful. Or could be something that was shipped in. They got to look into that. Iran seeks help reading Download Plane's Black Box. 
Well, see, the black box has got Windows 7, and Windows 7 was end of life in January 14th, and essentially Microsoft won't help them out at all. Uh, I couldn't resist. Trump Senate trial, nobody cares. <laughs> Sad. We should care, but we don't because it's really not going to matter. By the time it gets, by the time it gets all said and done, it's going to be election time. Nobody's going to care. It's not going to undo any of the stupidity that he's already done. Uh, Kaggle Grandmaster cheated. Yeah, I don't even know how to hack that. Damn, China confirmed 291 cases of the coronavirus. Shit. Our Boston Celtics apparently destroyed the Lakers. So, this isn't related or anything, right? China sentences ex-Interpol chief to 13 years in jail. And a nasty virus comes out of nowhere. Carter McGregor calls Trump a phenomenal president on Twitter. I'm pretty confident that's taken out of context. He can't, he can't be that type of guy. I well, you hope he's not that type of guy. You really hope he's not that type of guy. Uh, nation's gonna be divided over Trump's Senate trial. I, you know, I really don't think it's gonna be divided. If you really went out there and counted it out and stuff I don't think that that would be it'd be a cut down the middle at all I don't think so because the people that are Trump supporters are extremely vocal but I think they truly are the minority so I don't think there's going to be a split down the middle at all I'm going th- I think that if you really took a true poll and again I don't understand why these polls aren't like global shit online yet um, you know an IP address gets to vote once but if you took a good census of the country right now, I'm pretty confident that it'll just be, can we just get this done and move on? Because that's one thing our society doesn't like anymore is is taking forever. And and we lose interest. You know, the, the snowflakes and shit. You'll see a trial or something, and, and this is what Fremo and I bring to BGFG. You'll see a news article that'll say something like, uh, Biden, slaps, Biden slaps an intern's ass. And... You know, you'll go. You won't see it on mainstream media. You'll look it up in your news articles, and then a week later, it disappears from the internet completely. It's not there anymore. It's been redacted. We see that all. Fremo and I see that all the time, all the time, and it should frustrate people that it's being controlled and run like that. It's just sad. So you deal with stuff like this. The Bachelor. <laughs> Who the f- cares? Uh Just death and anger. It's awful. <laughs> MSNBC, not Fox, post calls out Trump's impeachment legal team for being associated with pedophiles. Hey, honey, don't you have to go get the kids? Let's see. 
Looks like the party's over for folks. Go PC sales at the shrink as Windows 10's upgrade cycle off. Yes, because I've had nothing but people coming in with their computers under their arm saying, I have Windows 7. It says it's not working because Microsoft did put up a giant screen <laughs> on any Windows 7 computer, which is kind of funny. <sighs> so they're all paranoid. Oh, my God, it's not going to work. Look, bottom line with that is, uh, you know, sheep will listen up. If you have friends that have Windows 7, just explain to them it's probably better if they buy another computer. And I'm not saying that because I, I want to see people spend ridiculous amounts of money. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that because while the back of the box says 1 gig of RAM and a 1 gigahertz processor and 256 megabytes of hard drive space, that is the bare minimums. That does not mean it's going to run well on that at all, period. Most of the machines I'm seeing have dual core or uh, four core processors, which are okay. Maybe some of the earlier i7s, i5s, not i3s. They're garbage chips. Most of them have four gigs of RAM. On a four gig of RAM, two gigahertz processor, I don't care how many cores, let's say two core, dual core, dual core with four gigs of RAM, and I don't care what size hard drive. You can put in a one terabyte if you wanted to. With all those stats right there, and you put Windows 10 on it, will it run? Yes, it absolutely will run. Will it look good? It'll look pretty decent, depending on the computer. But it's going to run like shit. It's just going to run slow. You know, you're not going to get that bad. You're going to see a friend's computer or a laptop, and they're going to be opening up web pages. You're going to be like, yeah, it takes me like another 30, 40 seconds. In computer terms, that's like night and day. That's what you're going to get. Can you upgrade? Should you? No. $150. Good luck finding a copy of Windows 10 Home right now. I don't understand why Microsoft, knowing that Windows 7 was going to end, I don't know why they didn't ramp up uh, production of the Windows 10 or make it some sort of website to update a lot easier. I don't see that at all. I don't see advertisements for that. I don't see anything. All I know is that on the shelves, there is a few Windows 10 Home at 200 and change and no Windows 10, uh, I'm sorry, I see Windows 10 Pro on the shelves at $200 plus, and I don't see any Windows 10 Home um, on the shelves at all in any way. I don't know what that's about. I don't know why they wouldn't you know, grab that money, but they didn't. So if you have a friend that has Windows 7, just tell them, unfortunately, they're going to have to buy another computer or deal with Windows 7 the way it is right now. If you have a really good geek in your life, there is a way that you can still get free Windows 10 upgrade. Let them do it. If they say that there's a way, just hand them the computer. Go, okay, you do it. I'll I'll pay you 25, 50 bucks. You do it. And those that are going to do it, make sure you back up your client's shit. Yeah, somebody should look into that former Interpol chief in China. It seems really a coincidence, especially in China, that you know this this guy is this important being jailed, and a neurovirus comes out, or a, a huge virus comes One out. Bite of a Nature Valley crispy creamy wafer bar can transport you to a wonderful world. Crisp wafer everywhere. Creamy peanut butter and chocolate flowing all around. And crunchy granola in every direction. <laughs> Call the text. Hidden sugar and pre-mixed alcohol. Crispy and creamy Damn. Wafer bars. This is Shaq for Icy Hot. And I got a few words about pain. See, pain thinks it could overpower you. Overwhelm you. But it obviously doesn't know you. You're not backing down from pain, because Icy Hot's got your back. Icy the doll pain. Yeah, that's pretty funny. I ran with the downed planes, black boxes that they can't read. You can ask France for equipment to read it. We don't we don't have the equipment. Uh, what plane was that though? Was that a Ukraine plane? And it's proprietary, and they're gonna try to crack it, give it back to the people that own it. Oh no, that would make sense. 
We design products that work for black Stupid me. Black hair. I don't know what to tell you, except you need to get with the program right now and pick up Bevel immediately. It's time you learn what Bevel uh, do, do, do. Driver accused of Rami Teen's off-road faces murder charges in California crash. Good. Good. Don't care if what nationality you are. Don't care what religion you are. You had road rage. And you murdered three people by running them off the road because you were angry. You shouldn't have a license. You shouldn't have a car. You should be riding a bicycle. That's what you should be doing. A car is a weapon, no matter how you cut it. I've been driving, I come from three generations of drivers. A vehicle is a weapon. That's it. If you don't take that shit seriously, and a lot of people don't anymore. When I taught my kids to drive, that's important. To, uh, an important lesson. This is a tool to get you from point A to point B. Period. And it can be, you know, you're messing around with your friends. You're backing up. Oh, let me just bump him as he's walking by. What happens if your foot slips? You know, what happens if you get, if your friend, I've seen it happen. I've seen people bump into other cars, you know, minor accidents and parking lots and stuff from goofing around. It happens all the time. It's just, it's, it's foolish that it should happen. Take more responsibility. Astronauts honored Martin Luther King Jr. replaced the ISIS batteries. Good. Your dad strangles coyote. I saw that on the news today, this morning. Now it's in the New York Post. Shit, yeah, any parent would. Fuck a dog. <laughs> Grab my kid, man. I'm going to be tearing your jaw off. I'm going to be... Yeah, there's going to be problems. Dude, you ain't doing that. I am 300 pounds. Your biggest dog is maybe 200 pounds. I outweigh it by 100 pounds. No matter how tough it is, if it locks onto my arm with its teeth, I'm getting some part of its body. And I guarantee you I'm going to be stronger and it's going to be more exposed than I am. That's nice. AOC. I was worried about this. The uh, Virginia Second Amendment rally. Uh, a lot of people had guns and, and things like that. And I was I was sure. I was talking to some <laughs> co-conspirator theorists at work. And I we were sure that they would be like in the back of the crowd or something. There'd be shots fired and that would ignite, you know, some sort of controversy. And, and somebody would get blamed, of course. But it's nice to see that there was even almost no police officers present at that rally because it is a rally and ironically you have a bunch of people that have a license to carry and they're at a rally there's not going to be a whole lot of bad things going on because they can get shot you want things to stay calm and collected absolutely calm and collected when everybody has a gun there's nothing wrong with everybody having a gun you have a right to have a gun Jennifer Aniston. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> Ousted Grammy chief has recording academy for $22 million to leave quietly. Oh, let's see. I'm going with sexual harassment on this one. She's holding back sexual harassment. And that being posted is not going to help your case. Not at all, Deborah. <sighs> Of course, it could just be a scare tactic. Awesome. Navy to name new aircraft carrier for African-American World War II hero. About damn time. Get your shit together, military. 
there's been some black men and women that have laid down their life and they do not get the recognition that the white folks get and that's wrong <laughs> speed of white folks that <laughs> get too much <laughs> Kelly and Conway should not get any respect from any folk <laughs> Let's see, Kellyanne Conway says Martin Luther King Jr. would have opposed Donald Trump's impeachment. No. <laughs> no, fam. <laughs> mm. uh, no. No, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I can't even, like... <laughs> I can't even... I'm looking at my sound effects board and there's nothing I really want to press because that's just the stupidest statement. And she continues... To be the dumbest shit on the planet. Defending Donald Trump. I'm going to move on. Because I, I don't like doing politics. It, it it angers me. It frustrates me. It's so ridiculous. Uh, only one arrest was made during that Second Amendment rally. Which is awesome. Oh. How legal weed shops feed the vaping crisis. Let's just talk about this headline for a moment. Because this is the type of shit that angers me. How legal weed shops feed the vaping crisis by the Wall Street Journal. So first of all, legal weed shops. They're not called legal weed shops, you fuck. They're called dispensaries for a reason. Go into one. Um, you have trained people that are there to help you in your medical needs. So if you have like chronic pain, arthritis, uh, you know, that's rampant. And if you don't know somebody that's got one of these diseases, lupus, go check, you know, and, and ask them. Because I cannot tell you how much cannabis has helped these people, whether it's CBD or THC, it doesn't really matter at this point. It'll be custom designed. You can dial it in. Once you dial it in, people won't even know that you're smoking weed unless they smell it. Because you're not going to be all stupid and, and laying on the couch in a puddle of drool. It doesn't work like that. But this, this type of bullshit article... How legal weed shops, legal weed, they're called dispensaries, feed the vaping crisis. First of all, the CDC has already come out and said there probably wasn't a vaping crisis. It was vapes with THC in it that were imported from China or overseas illegally by kids. That's what caused this. That's what caused this. Getting a vape, um, if you don't want to smoke, when I first quit smoking cigarettes, that's exactly what I did. I grabbed a vape and I had very little nicotine. There are some people that you'll see their vape liquid is like dark brown. That's a lot of nicotine. That's not necessary. You can wean yourself off of that. I was down to like either three milligram or zero milligram of nicotine in any of my vape. And it was all vegetable oil. So, you know, should you be inhaling vegetable oil? Probably not, but it's better than inhaling glycol or glycerin it's better than that and add to the fact that i'm not even doing nicotine it was just the oral fixation of the smoke and the inhalation <laughs> vaping crisis was something that happened with idiots that didn't know what they were doing it's the same thing when you see exploding uh vape pens and shit in their pockets nobody investigates the fact that they've hot rotted all of them that they've recoiled and their buddy down the street at the vape shop built them a deeper coil. That way they can blow smoke and fill up an entire car with one pull. That's what you're not seeing. So when I see stuff like this about how legal weed shops feed the vaping crisis, it's bullshit. I have one right here. Right here. THC. Right here. And I use it regularly for my knees, my lower back, my elbow. I mean, I have 30 years of martial arts. If you want to take that away, fine. I already have my license. Try it. Because it's not hurting me. It's not hurting my family. It's not hurting anybody. It's actually helping me be able to take, do my work, my job, my whole day by standing on my feet, moving things around. So when I see stuff like this, how legal weed shops feed the vaping crisis, it just freaking angers me. Because it doesn't need to be done. I'll, I'll write a story about it. Post it. I mean, that really pisses me off when I see stuff like that. It really does. Take a pull of this just because. Let's 
<coughs> what the hell? The battle over which flag to fly in America's Chinatowns? The American flag on top. Whatever flag they want to fly underneath that. Period. You're in America. It, this is not a question. I don't understand why it is. Bad idea. Bad effing idea. Robot tanks on patrol but not allowed to shoot. It doesn't matter. They're on patrol. That's not a good idea. That's not going to end well. Not at all. Not even a little bit. Puerto Rican officials distribute Hurricane Maria supplies found in a warehouse. Come on, man. Come on. Look at all that supplies. Jeez. If it was hoarding, find out who caused it. If it was a paperwork issue, find out who caused it and fire them. If it's greed, find out who it was and arrest them. I don't know why everybody makes such a... I can't remember who said it. it was a chief justice. It's not the amount. Oh, how'd it go? It's not the amount of time given to a convict, but it's no, it's not the severity of. Uh, it's not the severity of the crime. But, oh, now I'm gonna have to look that up. Hopefully I typed in enough to actually get it to pull up. That would be cool. There's something like it. Severity of punishment without the credibility threat. The credible threat of being detected and convicted. How can I put this easily? It's not the amount of time you get from a crime. It's the certainty of conviction that prevents crime. In my opinion. That's that's how I feel. I believe I speak for Fremo too. It doesn't matter if you give a person five years or 50 years for a crime. Doesn't matter. The idea that they're going to get caught is what stops it. So let's look back at that Puerto Rican thing. So in Puerto Rico, they had all those, um, all the supplies for Hurricane Maria were found in a warehouse. So the reason why this happens is because, ah, uh, you know, if somebody finds out, we'll just tell them we lost the paperwork. Okay, well, that's fine. And you may or may not get in trouble and it probably won't be that severe even if you do because they'll be like, ah, you lost the paperwork. If you're, if you're absolutely positive you're going to get jail time, if somebody finds out that you were hoarding all this stuff for the hurricane and people died because of it and you were charged with the murders for it, say, you would never do that. You would call everybody on the phone you could possibly find and be like, yeah, there's some supplies here, man. We got to get them out of here. I don't know where the paperwork is, uh, but we got to get them out of here. I'm going to get people fed. That's that's far different than just sitting down and going, fuck them. They, they can come get it when they want it. If not, I'll sell it. I got 90 days and then it becomes mine. That type of idea? No. It's the it's the absolution and conviction. That's what will deter crime. The fact that you're going to get caught and you're going to do time. Regardless. I know that if I... I don't know. If I'm a kid... When you're a kid, if I steal the bike and I get caught, I'm going to jail. That stopped kids from stealing bikes. 
the fact that, or or in my case, and I've talked about this with my kids too, that they don't understand what their grandfather was like. If I got caught doing something, if I did something in the garage, I'm getting my ass beat. And I'm going to get punished for a minimum of a week. That sucks. No bike, no one going to the playground for a week. That sucks. I don't want to sit at my house. This is before cable and the internet and shit. There was nothing to do at home. Maybe I had Mario. Maybe. Depending on what year it was. But for the most part, it just sucked sitting in your room. Nothing going on. Listening to the radio. It just sucked. That was the deterrent. The absolution. I knew that if I fucked up, when my dad got home, he was going to beat my ass and I was going to be punished. I don't know which one was worse, the beating of the ass or being punished because it sucked. And getting yelled at. So that was the absolution. If I know that nothing's ever going to happen, ah, uh, yeah, I'm not going to, who cares? I take the bike, what's the big deal? The dude's father's going to come and take the bike back, big deal. That's bullshit. That's, that's when you know you can get away with anything. That's what needs to end. Conor McGregor's going to fight again, and I think that's good. If you watch his fight, the reason why it didn't take so long with Cowboy, I am convinced it's the boxing skills he guts. He, he, he got from uh, the fight with Mayweather. He had to take some serious boxing lessons and work very hard at it. And I think he realized as a fighter, because deep down inside, as much as he's loud, he's a fighter. He realized that the true science of boxing is brilliant, and you'll damage people. And that's what he was doing. You know, even the good example, the example I made to the people that have seen it and have talked to at work and stuff about it. Look when, when Cowboy goes to the ground. When Cowboy goes to the ground, instead of seeing those wild haymakers that every single MMA person throws. Yeah, you're trying to make contact, but they're kind of wild haymakers. McGregor bends down and uses his body and his hips. It's really a lot more painful. A lot more painful. <sighs> Kelly and Conway. Gosh. You deserve to be bagging groceries somewhere or working at a dairy mart. That's what you deserve after everything you've done with with uh, Trump. There's right, there's wrong, there's collected a paycheck. I get it. You sometimes bend your morals, but there's a certain point where you got to go, you know what, this isn't for me. And it's happened in the Trump White House for a long time, but not you, Kellyanne. No, you know, I'm a religious man, and, and I think God's got a plan for you. Nature. And that's probably working at the 7-Eleven, dealing with people that you scoffed at in your days at the White House. And you deserve that. Pain. See, pain thinks it can overpower you, overwhelm you, but it obviously doesn't know you. You're not backing down. Yeah. Singapore regulators, beware of Microsoft Windows malware. Yeah, okay. Hot to relax it away. So uh, like it didn't happen from you. Kicking, swimming. Cycling, CrossFit, you name it. Because pain does not get the final word. You do. Icy Hot. Rise from pain. Use as directed. Office Depot Office Max is your number one destination for HP Inc. Shop our Jeez, huge selection. Children go missing. It's awful. And now, through February 25th, buy one, get one 30% off HP Office Jet Pro Inc. at your neighborhood Office Depot Office Max store and at OfficeDepot.com. Order your ink on and we'll ship it to you for free. So let the ink flow and get ready to print. Expires January 25th. Probably do know about another 10 minutes or so. Mario Kart Store, second multiplayer beta. Spilled your pina colada? If you give all your... You look, you're not going to have privacy. Okay, I have Nest cameras in my house. I have a Nest doorbell. I'm not private anymore. I did change my password from the default password so my house didn't get hacked all the time morons that's why those people get hacked because they didn't change their password they're using the same old password you know get something like LastPass or change your passwords and make them unique to your devices i don't know what to tell you that's a basic basic bgfg rule um but th there's no more privacy at home there's a reason why when you go upstairs or you go to your computer that the ads are specific to what you were saying that day or two everything's listening deal with it or Get it all out of your house, one or the other. Go back to old school. Make everything hardwired. No wireless listening at all. It can be done. Good luck trying. Yeah, all the key, all the kids want <laughs> cherry keys. Parents love it. Clackety clack clack clack.
No, look at that. Last pass in the mist. I just recommended last pass in the midst of an outage an hour ago. The company says everything's working properly, but there's a lot of issues that aren't. So I'd love to see the end of that. I want to see what happens with that because LastPass is making a huge push right now and they're they're good. But if they are compromised in any way, then that's going to really be problematic for their future. Who wants, if, if I'm giving you all my passwords for all my websites and everything in my life, everything in my life, and it's super secure and there's an outage where I can't log into stuff, that's a problem. I've been in this situation before using uh, a similar product. And there was like two hours or so I couldn't get into my bank account. I needed to move money from one account to the other because I only had one bank card on me. I needed to move money to get gas to get home. So it it's just not good. It's going to cause a problem. <laughs> Loot boxes push kids into gambling. No, gambling pushes kids into gambling. That's what it does. Loot boxes are... Uh, guys are guys are reaching, grasping. If the company's name is WeLeakInfo.com and you didn't think you were going to get arrested, I mean, I'm the first one to say there's a gray area with movies, especially in the uh, the early 2000s and the early uh, 2010s. I'm the first one to tell you that there was a. Uh, it was a gray area. If you're hosting the movie, you're wrong. But if I grab a copy of that movie, I'm grabbing a copy of that movie. I'm not actually grabbing the movie, so I'm not stealing. It's a long history of gray area. But we leak info.com. I'm pretty sure you're just leaking info that you found on the dark web. And that's wrong. You didn't think you were going to get arrested? Freedom of speech? Eh, not going to be covered. This one, the hospitals give tech giants access to detailed medical records. I don't think it's extremely detailed. I think it's it's the general, like, um, I think it's really going to be the general consensus of what they have, like 30-year-old male. I don't think it's going to be names and telephone numbers and shit like that. I think it's going to be like 30-year-old male with uh, congenitive heart failure or something. So they can do tests on that. And I think this is good. This is one of those things where if you read into it more, I'm sure I don't even really need to look too far into it because I'm pretty confident it's just to build a database for issues. The Apple Watch, I know for a fact, has saved several people's lives that I know of, let alone around the world, with between their fall detection and their um, EGG, I think it is, or ECC, um, for their heart. My wife has an illness and she wears it and it will send data to the doctor. And the doctor called her yesterday. She's going to go in today for an exam. So it's, this is, we're doing this. This is real and it's good. It's good to have that. And I'll let the, let the hospitals um, put information that's not private. Because again, HIPAA, and I can tell you what the HIPAA laws and everything. I don't even have to read this article. Uh, you know, maybe it's, you know, it's targeted at certain people for clickbait, but at the same time, with HIPAA, they can't disclose personal information. So general information I'm okay with. You know, there was X amount of people at an emergency room for X amount of issues with alcohol. I don't know. And that'll give access and detailed information to the big companies that will in turn build that into your watch, your, your scale, your whatever it is. It's a good idea. That's nice. Netflix secures international rights to Studio Ghibli. That's nice. Looks like it's going to be an uneventful news day for the most part, which also always makes me nervous. Wrestling. WWE signs Valkyrie Kane, Big E, Goldberg, and Ethan. The, the Goldberg thing, I think, is more of a Legends contract, I would think. 
I'm not in the business. Uh, in Valkyrie Kane, that's good. And Big E resigning him is a good idea anyway. So. The Bobby, the Bobby Rude, uh, Bobby Lashley and Lana thing has just got to go away. It's fucking stupid now. I think they're grasping at straws until WrestleMania. I think they're already set for what they want to do on WrestleMania, as they always are. And we'll find out, and they'll start anew after that. Oh, new Funko Pop for Keanu. Nice. All right, that's it. It's been a fun morning. Get on with your day. And enjoy.